Hi folks, welcome back. Um, I've added uh, some cadmium orange, I think it's cadmium orange. Orange, it's orange. Leaves acrylic, fine artist quality. So we've got uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, cerulean, the orange, a bit of paint grey, a bit of uh, viridian, some cadmium yellow and some yellow ochre. Uh, I, I, really, I really do like doing meadow grasses and stuff like that. So um, I'll, I'll do a, I'll do a rough do a meadow uh, and a cup of tea. These colours have been on this, this in this palette for three days now. Looks nice and bad damp. Uh, Master since they went to pallet, they've got these membranes, just lift up, there's a sponge underneath. So it keeps the whole thing moist, it's a very nice thing to have, Oops. it's a very nice thing to have, let's see if I can just sign up a bit, I don't fall in half, right. Oh, that would have to do. Uh, I don't know, I can move that over. It's a bit unbalanced there. Let's uh, slide that over a bit. Okay. Right, we're up and running now. A bit of uh, studio practice paper. And, well, let's just go for it. Uh, I'll, paint, so I'll put some trees in first, I think. And I'll use this one. Uh, my favourite green is, is red, blue, and okay, blue and yellow, three primaries. No, I know you love it, please, right? like acrylic I like to do the best I can with it. Not my favourite medium. But it's it's all painting isn't it? It's all good fun really. I'll change all this but let's just come down here. Nice meadow. Blue, yellow, red. Nice dark. So we can counter change over the dark. So we've got the nice dark colours to go over. We'll let that dry for a bit while we go back and do a bit of, bit of the meadow. Okay, clean the brush. This is a brush I forgot that had oil paint on. I forgot to clean it, so it's okay. Whatever you do with the acrylic, you haven't got long with a wet brush before it goes bone dry. It's a it's quite a nice day in London. It's a bit southwest wind, blue breeze. Uh, nice and mild, promises well for this afternoon, and I shall be cooking outside. Now, with my 
cook on my barbecue, my gas barbecue on my charcoal one with most of these things. But if I if uh, if I'm uh, doing bo boiling potatoes, peas and stuff, I can do that all in one saucepan. And I do it on a, a single burner, you know, the portable sing single gas burners with the cans of gas. Very, very useful. Uh, right, okay, now we're going to sort of change the brush. And to get some nice colour. Ah, vet gel. Oh, there we go. Vet gel, two and a half litres, I think. That was two, 2.5 litres, yeah. Pour some out. Ah, oh, I'll pour some in, in there, probably run down. But, uh, so we'll go for a yellow ochre, Viridian. Just get some stuff on. Just put a bit of colour on. Really goes very well with uh, yellow ochre. Need to put something in the middle, just disappearing over the, the hill. I'll, uh, I'll use um, a bit of blue in that. Carry on with these two colours. Right now we've got that covered. We can leave that. Put a bit of that uh, blue, blue paint grey, touch of white. No, I don't want these civil in. I just, I just want the bottom ring and the paint grey. Gonna put some texture over this. So I'll say I'll count to change it. More blue. Oh, I mustn't forget my tea. I've got one of the cheapest uh, charcoal barbecues I've had for years. I bought it from a B and Q, which is a bulk. Could be bulk. Q, 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 bulk quantities. It's a, uh, 
a merchant, a, a, a DIY merchant, and was, well, then professional. And they sell a range of barbecues. Oh, let's use some of this nice colour there. Get a bit of brighter in there. Okay, now we're going to the sky. I might put a pond in. I like ponds. They do uh, add, a, add a bit of interest. As long as they don't overwhelm the actual overall, overall view. I will start building up. Uh, I haven't got any burnt sienna. I have to get hold of some but Most burnt, burnt sienna is in in acrylic seem to be the lighter colour rather than the lovely rich uh, red of uh, Winsor Newton but even the Winsor Newton acrylic one is a bit a bit um, a bit light totally different for the to the oil and watercolour variety A lot of potential on that to uh, to do some stippling for the grasses. All right, let's get a sky in. A uh, bit of that, a bit of white, a bit of blue. Just get some paint on, a bit of Joe's gel, and we can moderate this as we go along. The gel just keeps it moist a bit longer. Once it starts to dry, it will take a lot more paint. It's just sealing the uh, sealing it all. So get a light orange, I think, with a bit of Ooh. a bit, a bit over the top. You can paint over, you can reinstate it any time you like. session
feel the time this is drying nicely. I can still see the uh, the trees shining through there. my glaring uh, orange Okay, now just a re clip with my hair dryer cord lead. Some light ochre cloudy stuff. Stuff. Mingle some of that, that blue in, in that cloudy stuff. It's just a bit too, too mm, bit dark. That red is a bit. The orange is just a little bit too, too dark. So that won't show through, but I'm still making this up as I go. You know me, it's, uh, just get some uh, stuff on. Right, okay, let's uh, clean the brush. And I'll just do a bit of uh, texture now. A bit more white. Ooh. Right, now a nice stipple brush is uh, something like that. So with grasses.
Do some of that. It's creating an illusion of texture. I'll get some darker stuff back in there in a, in a moment. Okay, now we want some darker, so a bit of red, a bit of meridian. Let's get some greens in there now. Nice random stipple. It's the best way I can do that gives some sort of effect of a lot going on, a lot of grass, well all grass, I can put some, some nice uh, meadow flowers, pet poppies and stuff. All right, let's go back into that, into those uh, trees now. Get my tree brush, have another drink of high tea. Oh, that's Elsa next door. I've also got a lovely tortoiseshell cat, but she's a bit vicious if she doesn't know you. She's getting on a bit, but we've got another white cat with a gingery face and a stripy ginger tail who's bullying, bullying my cat. Next door's cat, and he's a bit, bit uh, vicious. He drew blood from the cat next door. Right now, we're going to go in for these colours here. So let's get the blue, the red, and the yellow. Put some light on that to get the counter change going. When it dries a bit. Don't be careful. That one's looking too much like that one. We'll uh, modify that.
Dat is een taag, hè? Mm -hmm. Oh, dag. Ik heb een beetje 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 een Ah, well, it's got a, a greeny blue, so let's use Viridian, a bit of blue, see what that comes, comes up with. Not sure about that. Uh, I think we're going to go a bit too high for those. I'll let that go for a minute and I'll uh, thicken that up maybe and just take them down to be a bit more like that. I'm not sort of completely happy with that. Ah, that's a better dark, warmer dark. Well, I want a bit more stipple now in uh, the foreground. Clean the brush. Let's get a darker green, let's uh, red. Just a cheap, a cheap pack of brushes from Hobbycraft. I've had them for several years now, but they're all wearing nice and look. I couldn't really find work with them, but they're great for stippling. Now then, we want a bit of white and then that, yeah. Catching a bit of light.
ثابته در رو به Maybe it'd be easier to uh, raise these up a bit rather than not those back. I thought all the colours, these blue, red. Mm, I quite like these ones. Some dark back in here. What I'll do, I'll put some uh, fine uh, filigree branches and and stuff. dark in here now. Okay. Now the light is sort of seems to be coming from this way so we'll brighten up Some of us here. Lovely subtle, is it? Some of the dark back.
So you made to end these with the Vitti and give a pretty good good dark. But even darker with Elizabeth Crimson. Okay, let's uh, go a bit of that light back in the other side now. Right, well that's sort of sorted, isn't it? Now, <coughs> let's get my rigger. Hey. Now this is a really nice rigger, so I have to be a bit uh, careful. So we want a sort of a, a greeny light colour. It, this just sort of opens it up. No, just suggest light. Don't often do this, but uh, it's quite difficult in oil unless it's dry. Right, now, a few poppies. Now, I'm going to use that, that brush. Get a good clean in the water. And, uh, what's this brush here? No. Um, got this old, old brush here. So, I'll... Uh, Right, now a bit of dark in there. A bit of yellow. Right, now. We put a few uh, just some random bits and pieces. Now, uh, in uh, meadows, you do get, get a lot of uh, cow parsley, I think that's what it's called. So, let's get a cow parsley brush that one. Uh, so slightly off white. I like that brush, maybe. <laughs> that didn't really work. Uh, I'll use this one.
the cable, go back to the poppies. If you want to make the red lighter, just add a bit of yellow, or add it to a bit of yellow. A bit of white. Yeah, it seems. Right now then, uh, Couple of walkers, so we'll put one on the side of the... Okay, well, we'll uh, let that go. I'll put it in the mount. I will have a, have a look at it. That's got that nice bit of tape. This is me one for today. Because it's going to twelve o'clock. Okay. Well, I, I'm not going to move the whole. Well, no, I'm not going to take the setup down. I'll just leave it where it is. Hope you like that one, folks. Uh, call it uh, ooh, Spring Meadow. No, it's a, that's more Summer Meadow, isn't it? Summer Meadow. Summer Meadow. Okay, hope you like that one. Thanks for looking, and I'll see you soon. Leave leave your your thoughts in comments and comments when I upload it. See you soon. Bye-bye.